यू नो पावर बी आई बट स्टिल यू हैव लॉट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन योर माइंड हाउ डज इट हैपन वाई इट हैपन्स हाउ कैन आई डू दैट दिस इज द सीरीज फॉर यू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट द नोटिफिकेशन हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ एबसेक थीसीज सीरीज एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन फीचर विच हैज़ बीन रिलीज इन पावर बी आई मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री रिलीज एंड द फीचर विच वी प्लान टू डिस्कस इज बेसिकली द टू बटन्स विच हैज़ बीन प्रोवाइडेड टू अस इन द मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री रिलीज विच आर अप्लाई ऑल बटन एंड क्लियर ऑल बटन नाउ बिफोर आई डिस्कस हाउ टू रीच टू द मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री फीचर रिलीज यू कैन सर्च फॉर एक्चुअली ब्लॉग डॉट पावर बी आई डॉट कॉम एंड दिस इज हाउ टिपिकली आई रीच टू दिस वन एंड वंस यू रीच टू द ब्लॉग यू एक्चुअली ऑन द टॉप यू कैन सी द मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री समरी इट सेल्फ अदरवाइज वट यू कैन डू यू कैन गो टू द मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड दे आर यू विल लिटल बिट स्क्रॉल डाउन वेयर ऑल द अपडेट्स विच कम फॉर पावर बी आई डू कम हेयर आई गिव यू द लिंक एंड देन यू कैन क्लिक ऑन द मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री फीचर समरी विच आई ऑलरेडी ओपन इन अदर टैप्स ऑल्सो Now, when you further scroll down, you will find out what all features have come. And one of the feature you can see on the top is apply slicer button, clear all slicer button, optimization preset update. Okay, so this has the update which has come in. So this there are two buttons which has been given. Other than that, there is a setting which has been given, disabling cross uh, filter highlighting and add single apply value. These uh, settings were uh, there, I think previously also uh, some of them. But this disabling cross filter highlight is something which you know going to help you. uh in the query reduction so this is the preset turn off uh, cross filter highlighting we added apply button so in the filter pane so you can apply uh when you are ready to further reduce the query so these are the features which has come in new uh so this is going to help you out uh, basically to reduce the number of queries and going to enhance the experience of power bi to the end user but right now we are will like to focus I'll, though i will show you those settings but i'll feel focus on the apply button apply um all slicer button and clear all slicer button now let me jump out of the power bi and before i move forward let me show you the setting so go to the file options and setting and option and let me show you these two options where they are so here it is options and setting and here you can see options and we already clicked on the file you might have seen that now let me again go back file options and i have clicked on the wrong one let me clo close that one file options and setting options Now, once you open that, you will get this. Uh, the feature which you wanted to know basically is that is under the um, uh, query reduction, which is here under the local option. So let me highlight for you the current file option, the query reduction option. That is what the option they were talking. And let me highlight these features, which which were discussed on the blog. So we have to actually check this this one basically, and we have to also check this one. Okay, so check this one and select this one, and you can say okay. Once you click on okay, it may ask you to restart the Power BI. You can do that. So right now we are not discussing, but I have tell told you where these features are in case you wanted to switch them on. So let's uh, cancel this one and let's come back to the Power BI. Now we wanted to use those two buttons. For that we need to create a page and you know know how these features are going to behave. So let me create a new page, and in this new page now. i have also enabled the new object feature uh, which i have discussed discussed in the another video so for because of that object feature on object feature i can simply right click here and i can say add visual and in this add visual i can go and say it is a slicer and then i can say add data and directly i can da add data by going to here item and category now once i done that i actually um, so this is one thing which i observed that it typically sometime changes it so basically first add the content and then you modify that which was there then if i click here uh, right click and all those there are different different kind of options which are available so right now i am interested in you know the uh, the uh, what kind of slicer it is going to be so i'll go here and um, go to the slicer setting basically in the slicer setting i'm going to go and make it as a drop down once it is created as a drop down let me remove little bit of space here and what i'm going to do is now control c control v i'm going to make it as another one and the good thing right now here is to change that i don't need to go anywhere i just go here and category and this arrow sign i click on this arrow sign and i say it is brand 
so i got there now i need the visualization again you know it's very simple for me i say add visualization i right click here and then i will go ahead and i'll say add data where in the add data i'll open the majors and in the majors let me open the net and then we also add let's say geography state fine now i got my visualization and i can convert it into this one and let me make it little bit bigger now what is my default behavior today so what happens if i click on the brand i get the brand if i click on the category i also get category i click on the category leave it and i come brand and i brand is also filtered immediately the moment i apply the filter the filter will get applied i don't have to wait for it this is what is happening right now okay so the moment i change it it get applied and now if i have to clear also i have to actually basically either i pray press this erase button or somehow i manually do done it so i have to do it with the control i can select multiple and i use the slice clear rubber button here or the clear slicer button here now where are these buttons so we go to the insert and insert inside the insert you have these buttons where you got these two new button apply slicer values it will come into the disable stage okay and then if i go to the value i have clear all slicer value uh, also there are two things which has come now what happen once once i after i add this button so let me select one value and you will see immediately now this time if you have observed the values are not changing below because i have apply all slicer button the moment you add this apply all slicer button the values will stop changing now you have to click now on the desktop it is control click on the power bi service it will be a click so i press a control click and now you can see the values have changed now the moment i had some value also the clear all slicer button is also enabled and the moment i apply the values the supply all slicer value is dis disabled so i say clear slicer and again control click now again let me select the values now i can select a brand i can go here and select a category also and let me select two categories now still nothing has applied and you can see the moment i select one value the apply all slicer is enabled and let me with control click and just uh, those of you missing the screen uh let me highlight for you this is apply all slicer and this is my clear slicer and you can see no change has happened in this visualization right now okay and now let me say control and click on the desktop we always click control and click the moment the values are applied now again my the button has been disabled now i can click on the clear all slicer or i can do some changes let me do one change let me add one more this thing and see can i do that so i say control and click the moment i do that you can again see the apply all slicer i click on do and able to do that now i can control and click on clear all slicer now one thing which i observed is basically it applies on all the slicer and that is also been given into the documentation what challenge you are going to face because of that and the what i have done is i also created a fields parameter for me now this field parameter which i created let me show you i created because i want to change the major to net and gross now if i want to change his major how what would happen so basically i'm going to go here and instead of you know taking this as a state and let me off this suggestion so net major basically so state i will take and major i'll not take this one so i'll go here and in the parameter i'll actually go and take this parameter so this parameter is going to give me both now i have to also add this as a slicer so i go here and drag and add it just like previously we also used to do and make it as a slicer and you can see now this slicer if i even if i click on something it does not apply and it will not apply till this one so right now there is no feature which you can give so even if you have these field parameters the challenge would be that uh, you want to change the field parameter but still it's not going to change unless you click on the apply slicer now what would happen if users found it too difficult so what power bi has done is they also given you an escape route the escape route is to have the bookmarks so have one bookmark without apply slicer and we have one with the slicer now to create a bookmark what we have to do is uh, you have to go and you know you have to add the bookmark pane and the selection pane i'm disabling them and i'm enabling them now here you might have noticed that all of them as because of this uh, new experience they have started you know coming here on the left hand side but it is not there and but whenever i click it goes there but i can do here is i can uh, right click on this one of them and i can say open in new pane now what i can do is this is my right stage which is currently there on this stage itself i can create a bookmark isn't it so i can create a bookmark i already have one bookmark but let me you know delete those i was testing this feature so let me now create a bookmark so how do we create a bookmark so this is my stage which basically have the apply all slicer button and everything else but i want this as a stage so i will add this and i'll call this as apply all and right now you know the apply all behavior so i don't need to do 
Now what I do here is I click on this button and I go and this button is highlighted here. I disable it and it says the slicer selection on the page will instantly apply. It means it's going to instantly apply. The moment I hide it, see that it is hidden and immediately it starts behaving like that. Okay. So I say, okay, that's fine also with me. I now I need this stage, which is basically apply one means the moment I select one, it's going to apply that. So now what would happen when I use this bookmark? I have to basically wait for my selections to apply by control click on apply on. And the moment I go here, it gives me the warning and I can actually um, I go here and I come back here. I can say don't show it again. So now I go here and now if I go here and come back here, it will not show me that warning. Okay. So clear all slicer button. I don't need to do any action because that's what I wanted. So now I, if I change this, you can see that it quickly changes. So now, and also you can disable the data if some data don't want to save. So you say, okay, data should not be passed. So what would happen now? I'll tell you the difference. Let's say I do this. Okay. And now if I go here, where apply all, you can see the button is there, but multiple selection is there. Now, if I would have done, now I have the selection. So let me clear. Now let me do control clear all slicer. And if I enable this data, if I enable this data also, let me right click and say data is enabled, right, right click and say data is enabled. Now let me click on click once. Let me click control, control these two values. And if I now go to apply all these automatically get reset also. The reason it is resetting because the data is also saved. So that is why we are not going to save the data with it. Now, how you are going to give to end user because end user, you are not going to give these two things. The bookmarks, isn't it? So you need to give them some buttons or something. So let me move these buttons here. So you can create a tab kind of a structure, which is also being given in one of the blogs with when this feature has been released, or you can simply add the buttons. So buttons only you modify and give them a tab structure. So you go to the insert and you are going to add two buttons here. So I'm going to add a blank button. That's why I typically I prefer and I keep him them here on the top. And what I typically do is I click on these buttons and um, I'll go to the property of the button. I right click and say format and I, you got the format and I'm going to enable the, uh, I go to the button styling and in the button styling, I have the text in the text. I'll give, let's say apply all. And then I go here, let me close this and then I will go to the action. I enable the action and in the action, I, I have to use bookmarks. See, we also, all, also have apply all slicer and clear all slicer. They remember that, you know, you want to say all and a go button. You want to call it go button. You can call it go button. Just go and just add the property as apply also. You want to say clear. You can go ahead and do that. Or you want to, so these properties are there. So you don't have to always have such a big button, say apply all. You just simply go ahead and say go button. That's how typically it happens in the uh, BI tools. We have a go button or just submit button and we do it. Okay. So, but this is a bookmark basically. So we have to go and select apply all and now what I typically this is what I do I once done with that and I can you know now go here if I go to button style I already have all those things text I simply go and say apply one and then I can go and modify the action and in action it's all, everything is already set I only need to say this now what would happen if I click control click here I see apply all if I click here it is gone it is coming it is gone and now I go here, control, control, control with control click. I am doing this. I got all of them. I say apply all. Now if I go here and I change this, this, and I also change this to net, nothing is apply. I click here and you can see everything applies in once. So this is how this works. If you don't want uh, one of them to work or you want the giving the control in the hand of the end user to, you know, whether they wanted to have apply all slicer or don't want to have apply all slicer, you can pass it using the bookmarks. So go ahead and try this feature out and do let me know what else you wanted me to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you. Keep watching, keep asking questions in comments, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.